I'm gonna tell you a story. I swear it's fictional. This is the audio of The Witch's Clit by Typewriter. I was a stupid kid, probably about 19. I was on the run. I did something I wasn't proud of. I took the bus from a small town. I left my small town and took the bus to New York City. Figured, hey, at least nobody would know me out there, you know? Well, anyway, I took the bus from the small town to Amsterdam, to New York City. No, it was actually from Amsterdam to Albany. Then I took the Greyhound to New York City. And when I got off the bus, the scenery was amazing, by the way, but I'm not even going to get into that. I'm going to try to tell the story. Stick to the point. When I got off, there was crowds of people everywhere. It overwhelmed me, like I said. I was just on the run, and I figured I'd be unknown out there. I just didn't want to be known. So I left the bus at Port Authority. I went uptown. I got really tired, so I sat down in front of this McDonald's. I'm not going to give exact locations or say exact names. I sat in front of McDonald's for a while, and somebody gave me a dollar. So I figured, hey, I'll do this for a while. So I just sat outside of McDonald's, man, and held up signs like I saw everybody else around me doing. Like I said, I'm not going to mention names, not going to mention details. But yes, I just started holding up signs, and I made all kinds of money every single day. I did that for about a week or so ago. Then, one day, out in front of McDonald's when I was panhandling, this this really tiny woman walks up to me. Like She was like such a tiny, frail little thing. She was probably about four feet tall, soaking wet. She... She was probably four feet tall and weighed 90 pounds soaking wet. Sorry, I misspoke myself. But yes, and she was wearing a black skirt, a black leather jacket. She had long black hair. I could tell that she dyed it black, but it was really thick. And her eyes were gray, man. Her eyes were so gray, and she was so tiny, and she goes, Hey, I'll massage you. If you massage me. So I looked her up and down. I'm like, okay, she looks fairly attractive, you know. She looked like she was a little mature looking, probably in her early 50s, but I've done worse. I'm not even going to get into my past. But anyway, I'm like, sure. So we go up the block. We duck underneath this corner. Like I said, not giving exact details of my locations, just in New York City. And we duck down around this corner. I'm like, where do you want me to massage you? She points down at her vagina, and she says here and she lifts up her skirt and she places my finger there and all of a sudden I just started moving it in circles it just came so naturally I just started moving my fingers in circles I just kept moving them in circles and vibrating them I couldn't stop I felt like I was in a trance and she's like yes play with my clit David play with my clit play with my clit David play with my clit don't stop playing with my clit but she kept saying that over and over again, like put me in a hypnotic trance while I kept doing it. Play on my clip, yes. And I passed out. I just went black, I don't want to describe it. My whole body just stopped. And I passed out. When I woke up, there was daylight. And she had her arms wrapped around me. And she goes, that was fun. I'll see you again tomorrow night. And I'm like, okay. And it was fun for a while, you know? We were like this dynamic duo. We used to hold up signs. We used to make all kinds of money because we'd hold up signs and people to randomly always give us money. But she was really freaking, like, she, she was driving me crazy all the time, man. And she was always, like, going around organizing the garbage. She'd always randomly take off her clothes and put them back on. She'd always lift up her skirt to pee. And she was always, like, throwing stuff at me randomly, man. She was always randomly throwing stuff at me. 
And she would always have these random outbursts, and she would always freak out. And she had this fucking creepy ass laugh, man. I, ugh, it just that goes through my mind. <laughs> play with my clit, David. Play with my clit. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to give my specific name. This is a fictional, I swear. But like I said, it was always freaking me out, man. And she was always combing my hair. I got long hair, but it's thinning a bit. And ever since she did this. Like, ever since, like I said, every time she combed my hair, man, she was always combing my hair and always rubbing this cream all over me, man. She was always rubbing this cream all over me, and she was always combing my hair. And it felt like, like my hair was, would start to thin every time she stopped combing it. But every time she started combing it again, it felt like my hair would just, like, thicken and, and just, like, thicken as she brushed it. I don't know how to describe it. And every time she stopped, it would start thinning again. And now I gotta keep brushing it no matter what. And every time I brush it, it thickens. And every time I, every time I stop, it thinnens. And she was always rubbing this cream on me, man. She was always rubbing this fucking cream on me. And she was always, uh, uh, she, and she'd be, uh, I'll get into that part later. But anyway, yes, yeah, sometimes she'd get me in trouble. She would, like, go through McDonald's and start randomly organizing everybody's drinks. Like, she'd re- literally start randomly organizing everybody's freaking drinks. And she would start brushing people's hair randomly. Like, one day she walked up to this little girl. She was, like, five years old, literally, just sitting there eating her Happy Meal. And and Sarah, yes, her name was Sarah. She walked up to, to the little girl and started brushing her hair. She goes, yes, yes. You have long, beautiful, blonde hair. I love it. I, I just wish, oh, I'd love my hair like this. And she was, like, brushing it, and her father glared over at me. And, yes, sometimes, like, she'd usually get away with shit like that because she was a tiny elderly thing. But this time, a little while later that day, he walks up to me, and he goes, Hey, if that old hag touches my girl again, if, my, if that old hag touches my daughter again, I'm going to beat the fuck out of you, you hear me? I'm going to come down here with a bat, and I'm going to splatter your fucking brains everywhere. Don't let that old hag touch my daughter again, because I'm going to take it out of you, not on her. You got that motherfucker? You better not touch my daughter again. She better never fucking touch her again. I'm like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I went up to Sarah. I'm like, hey, you can't do that. You, you can't be doing that. You, you just got me in trouble. And she literally said, shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> I'm a very sick woman. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, okay, just calm down. Like I said, I was just, I was a big dude, but I was scared of my own shadow, man, at that point in my life. And yes, one day she was brushing my hair. She was brushing my hair, and she was like telling me how she could picture me, she could picture me as a prince and her as a princess. Yes, David, I could picture us in the perfect wedding. I could picture us in the perfect wedding, and you would just be playing on my clit all day long, and I'd be buying you all kinds of stuff, and you would just be playing on my clit, and we'd be in our own little castle. It would be like Romeo and Juliet, David, like Adam and Eve. We, 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 we just, we, we, how about we go to the riverfront, David? You could play on my clit. Yes, I, I'll be honest. I, I like pussy as much as the next guy, but... I was feeling like shit from being homeless in the streets, to be honest. And I just wanted to enjoy my buzz. So I'm like, maybe later. I honestly said maybe later. Like I said, she was always freak out. I don't know if I said this, but she would always freak out, man. She, she'd always try to lure me to the riverfront so I could play over a clip, man. I always had weird experiences while I did that. Like, this what I'm about to freaking tell. And she go and like I said, she was brushing my hair, and she says, "Why don't we go to the riverfront, David? You can play on my clit." <laughs> yes, David, you can play on my clit. You, can, yeah, you, I, I could just, I could just put you in a sleeping bag and just, and just like suck you up in my clit. <laughs> uh, I'm like, no, thank you. Maybe later. And then she fucking punches me, man. She punches me right square in the fucking face, man. She, like, freaking like, wails me right in the freaking face. I'm like, calm down. I mean, she picks up her freaking coffee and she chugs it right in my face. She's like, chugs my fucking McDonald's coffee all over my face. She goes, if you don't play on my clit right now, I'm going to call the cops and tell them that you raped me. And all of a sudden, she's turning into this freaking, this, like, mutant creature. I don't know what to decide to freaking describe it, man. Like, she's, like, she just started, like, morphing. That's all the best way I can describe it. She started morphing into this fucking 
fucking creature, man. I can't even describe it. And she started like fucking, she started like pulling this stuff out of her cart. She would always push this shopping cart around everywhere, man. And she'd always ram you with it. But she was pulling this this cream out of this fucking cart and she was like throwing it at me. And and like it started like pelting everywhere. She started throwing it like crazy and the cream splattered and hit everywhere and it would evaporate and turn to smoke. She just started fucking throwing it everywhere. And I did, man. I freaking started running. She was like throwing freaking cream bombs everywhere chasing after me. She was freaking throwing cream bombs that that would like that, that that like splatter and turn into smoke. She was pelting me everywhere. She was chasing me up the block, man. I was running for my fucking life. And she was saying, "Play on my clip, David. Play on my beautiful clip." Yeah. <laughs> and she was chasing me up the fucking block, man. And yes, I looked back. I kept on running that for I don't even know how long, man. I looked back and she was gone. So I sat down. I started to catch my breath, and I fell asleep on the ground. And then I woke up, and she was standing over me. And she goes, shh, it's okay. And then she takes the stuff out of her back pocket. She literally just freaking reaches her hand into her back pocket and rubs this cream on my face. Like rubs her two fingers down my face. And I felt like I was paralyzed. And she says, my name is Sarah Good David, and I was hung during the Salem witch trials. But after I died, I became something much, much worse. I am the evil sin leech succubus, and I own your soul now, and you are going to play on my beautiful clit. You see, Satan, Magalog, all the demons ain't got shit on me. I am the sin leech. I sin. And no matter how I feed off of all their sin, they tempt everybody to commit. And no matter how big Satan's dick gets, he can never fill my pussy. And I keep feeding off of Satan's fucking beautiful sin that he tempts everywhere. You see, ever since Eve ate the forbidden fruit, I've been getting infinite sin, cause after I became the infinite suck you bitch leech sin leech, I started projecting omnipresent. I started projecting, I started projecting copies of myself, and we all went everywhere. And we all just ate all of the sin. And we expanded out of control after Satan took the damn souls from Salem Village. And the evil bitch which was pissed. Now, all of the damn souls just infinitely, just infinitely feed off of their sin. And she started rubbing this cream on my arm. I will always feed off of all of sin, David. <laughs> and when she was rubbing this cream on my skin, man, it was like my skin was freaking melting. Like, my, my skin was boiling. And she was, like, picking parts of my skin off while she, while she was rubbing the cream in. And she was, like, eating it. I taste your sin, David. <laughs> I taste your beautiful sin. She was a freaking morphed creature at this point, man. And she was freaking like eating me while she was rubbing the cream on, seeing how much she liked the taste of my sin. And I was paralyzed after she rubbed the cream on my face. I was just like paralyzed when she rubbed that shit. It was like, it was like, I was like, and I couldn't even move. And she was like eating pieces of me. And she goes, now David, play with my clit. And I looked down, man, and I was playing over a freaking clip, man. I, I was just, like, doing it, man. I couldn't freaking stop. I was moving my fingers in circles and vibrating them. The next thing you know, man, when I was doing it, I looked down. Her, it turned into a fucking black hole, man. And I started, get, I started going inside of the fucking hole. I started going inside of the fucking hole, and it was sucking me up. And I looked down, and all of a sudden, it was a fucking snake. Her, her, her pussy, it was a fucking snake, and her head, and her head became the pussy, and it was, and the pussy became her, the fucking snake, and they had my whole fucking arm in her mouth, and it was swallowing me whole, and I looked around, it was like I was omnipresent, there was like billions of me everywhere, and we were all moving our fingers in circles, man, and then, and then next thing you know, she goes, this is how you were born, David, I looked down, and I, my freaking pants were off, and she, sorry, but she was, she was freaking sucking, she was sucking my, my genitalia, and, and it was like she was like it was like while she was sucking it, the size, 
the size of it, man, was like shrinking, man. And and it shriveled up, it shriveled up, and it shriveled up. It, it like shriveled up into this freaking like as big as my pinky nail. It was, it was like she sucked the size out of it. And then all of a sudden, the next thing you know, I was in the park. I was in the park and women were, were pointing at me everywhere, man. And I was running through the park. Women were coming out of the fucking woodwork and they're pointing at me saying, Baby Jimmy, baby Jimmy, baby Jimmy. And they freaking looked down at my fucking shit just shriveled up. She sucked the fucking size out of it. And there was freaking shriveled up penises falling out of the sky, fucking landing all over the ground. And, the, and these women were going around fucking eating the baby, the shriveled up baby penises, man. They were fucking eating them. And I ran and I ran and I ran and I ran. I ran as fast as I fucking could, man. And there was thousands of knees. There was thousands of knees all around me. And they were all naked. And I looked up. And there was this huge freaking black hole over top of us, man. There was this huge fucking black hole. And she was sucking. She was sucking all of the infinite me's into it, man. She was sucking all of the infinite me's into it. Like, like all the infinite me's are getting sucked in this black hole. And I can hear her laughing, that crazy fucking laugh and saying, Gobble them up in my pussy! Gobble them up in my pussy! <laughs> I am going to gobble you all up into my pussy! Into my beautiful pussy! Gobble you all up into my beautiful pussy! And all them fucking me's were like getting sucked up into the black hole. And I, all of a sudden I kept running and I kept running and I kept running. And all the me's around me turned into planets. I don't know how to describe it. They're like planets. I was running through fucking space. And all the me's were like, were like fucking planets. I was running past the planets through outer space. And I could see the light at the end of the fucking tunnel, man. I was just trying to get to the light as fast as I could, man. I just kept running towards that fucking light. And I was running through outer space. And all, I saw the fucking the black hole sucking up all the planets around me saying, I am going to gobble everything up into my pussy. Everything you love, gobble up into my pussy. Ah! <laughs> and I was running. I was running as fast as I fucking could, man. And I, I reached the light. And the light was the fucking sun. The light was the sun, man. And all of a sudden, it just got sucked up into the black hole. And I was in complete darkness. I have just gobbled everything up into my pussy. And I am going to gobble you up over and over again into my beautiful pussy. She was a huge fucking black snake, man. She slivered over to me and she said, I am going to gobble everything around you up into my pussy while you play with my beautiful clip, David. <laughs> I am going to gobble you up over and over again into my beautiful pussy while you play with my beautiful clit. <laughs> Welcome to your new hell, my newest soul. <laughs>